Hi, Yen is here from Edric.com. Today's video is about what to do when your iPhone won't connect to iTunes or Finder. You plug your iPhone into your computer, but your iPhone doesn't show up. For whatever reasons, iTunes is not recognizing the iPhone, and you cannot manage your iPhone, including data transfer, software update, and backup restoration. So let's look at some tips and tricks to fix the problem of iPhone not connect to iTunes or your computer not recognizing the iPhone. Whether you are using a Mac or PC, here are some daily troubleshooting tips you can follow. And after each step, try connecting your iPhone to computer again. First, check your iPhone's USB cable and USB port and make sure that the sensors are working. Then, try your computer's USB port and make sure it's free of debris. You can try a different USB port as well. Next, restarting your iPhone and your computer. It's very likely that the restart will get iTunes to recognize the iPhone. To restart iPhone 10 to later, press and hold either one button and the side button until the slider appears. Then drag the slider to turn it off. Wait of a few seconds and turn back on your iPhone. The fourth solution is to make sure iPhone is unlocked and on the home screen once you connect iPhone to the computer. And when asked whether to trust the computer or not, tap trust. If you accidentally tap don't trust, you need to go to settings, tap general, tap reset entire reset location and privacy to reset your location and privacy settings into factory defaults. As a final basic step, you need to troubleshoot iPhone software glitches to make sure it's not a software errors causing iPhone not connecting to iTunes or Mac. To do this, go to edgeek.com and get an iOS system recovery tool. It's smart, simple, efficient, and is able to deal with more than 50 iOS issues without deleting your data. Once you launch the program, it will detect your iPhone, identify the errors, and reinstall the firmware. Download and install it, and let's see how it works. So launch the software on your computer. Click more tools. Click iOS system recovery. Click start. Now connect your iPhone to your computer. Once it's connected, choose stand mode. It's good enough for minor software problem. Click confirm. Now select an iOS firmware for your iPhone and download it instantly. Wait for the download to finish. And once done, click fix to remedy the issue. It's all that simple. Now let's talk about troubleshooting a Mac not recognizing iPhone. In a Mac with Mac OS Mojave or older version, you need to update iTunes to the latest version from App Store. An older version of iTunes may not recognize your iPhone with the newer iOS version. Then check for software updates on Mac. You need to add your Mac to Mac OS Catalina if you have an iPhone or iOS 13. Click Apple Menu, choose System Preferences, then click Software Update, and if there is an update available, choose Update Now button to install it. Next, try System Report to see if your Mac recognizes your iPhone when it's playing. Click Apple Menu, choose About This Mac, then click System Report. From the list on the left, choose USB and you should see your iPhone is there. This means that your Mac is correctly recognizing your iPhone. If your iPhone is displayed but it doesn't connect or appear in Finder, you might be experiencing a software issue. As above, try to use iOS System Recovery software to make your iPhone connected to computer again. So hopefully you can solve iPhone not only on iTunes or Mac. Now go ahead to troubleshoot iTunes issue on Windows PC. First, download the latest version of iTunes. Open iTunes, click Help and choose Travel Updates. If iTunes doesn't recognize your iPhone after you get its latest version, try to reinstall Apple Mobile Device USB Driver. Unlock your iPhone and connect it to computer. Open Search and search for Device Manager. Locate and expand portable device. Look for your iPhone, then right click on it and choose other driver. On the power window, select Search automatically for updated driver software. Open the software install. Open iTunes and see if the iPhone shows up. Well, if your iPhone is still not connecting to iTunes, go to Device Manager to see if Apple Mobile Device USB driver is installed. If you don't install this driver, your computer won't recognize the iPhone and therefore you have the iPhone to iTunes connection issue. Press Windows key and R key on the keyboard to open the run command. Type DEVMGMT.MSC and press enter. In device manager window, locate and expand universal serial bus controllers. You should see Apple Mobile device USB driver. Double click to open it and then click update driver. Again, click on search automatically for updated driver software. 
If your computer finds an update available, just install it to resolve the problem. After that, plug your iPhone into computer so to see if iTunes recognizes iPhone. Alright, here's all you can do when you have trouble connecting iPhone to iTunes. If your iPhone still won't connect your computer, contact Apple support for further help. If any of them helps you out, please give video a thumbs up, subscribe to Edric's channel, and hit the bell to get notifications when never we share a video. You can also leave your comment below if you have any questions on the issue of computer not recognizing iPhone. See you in the next video.